Minister of Conservation won't negotiate with Hall of Water until the barricades are removed, and the Minister of Justice will take no action on the illegal barricade. So I ask the Minister of Justice, if he doesn't have the courage to enforce the law, why won't he at least ask the Minister of Conservation to negotiate the removal of the barricade? The Honourable Attorney General. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, on this side of the House, uh, we've always felt that negotiating with people uh, involved is always the best course of action. And I'd like to indicate, I'd like to indicate, Mr. Speaker, to do otherwise, Mr. Speaker, in fact, as the Minister of Justice, would be inappropriate. And I want to quote from the Ipawash Inquiry, Recommendation 71, page 357, volume 2. The power of the responsible minister to direct the OPP, and in this case would be the Provincial Police Force, does not include directions regarding specific law enforcement decisions in individual cases, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, the former Premier of Ontario found out, uh, unfortunately, the hard way that uh, neglecting that particular... Order. The Honourable Member for Lactabani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Conservation stated yesterday that he's in no position to enforce the law. The Minister of Justice is in a position to enforce the law, and he uses that excuse as not directing the RCMP. However, Mr. Speaker, in 2001, the Department of Justice directed the RCMP to conduct a criminal investigation in regards to the findings of the Auditor General in the Morris McDonald School Division. And I table for the Minister's uh, own uh, use uh, that copy of that government news release. So I ask the Minister of Justice if he can direct the RCMP to conduct a criminal investigation of school trustees, why can't he ask for a criminal investigation of those responsible for erecting an illegal barricade? The Honourable Attorney General. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I'm not Order. sure if the, if the member gets the point, but the RCMP are there. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the RCMP are there conducting their business as the RCMP should. And to quote from the conclusions of the Ipawash Royal Inquiry, the provincial government had the authority to establish policing policy, but not to direct police operations. I'll repeat, not to direct police operations, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is not in the jurisdiction of the provincial government to direct police operations, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Lac de Bonnie. Mr. Speaker, according to Section 423 of the Criminal Code, it is illegal to block or obstruct a highway, and I table for the Minister's uh, use uh, that particular page in the Criminal Code. The bar barricades erected by Hall of Water are clearly illegal, and both the Minister of Conservation and the RCMP Sergeant Doug Ashton agree, agree with that statement. Illegal activity, yet the Minister of Justice Order. ignores it and condones it. What kind of message is he sending to Manitobans? The message he's sending to Manitobans is that the law can be broken without consequences. So I ask the Minister of Justice, why has he failed to enforce the law? Honourable Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, if I had my choice, if I had my choice between taking directions from the members opposite or the police, 100 times out of 100, I would take my direction from the police, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Secondly, Mr. Speaker, I remind the member for Lac de Bonnie that, for example, the Monin inquiry found evidence of criminal wrongdoing by members of the Conservative Party, but said there is no use prosecuting the members of the Conservative Party for their wrongdoings because they've been punished enough. Mr. Speaker, they have been punished enough by the moan and process, Mr. Never Speaker. Enough. I just want to point that out to the member opposite in case he has a comment on that particular matter as raised by Chief Justice Monin. 